Hey, what's going on guys? Eli here. And today we're going to be checking out the Club C Grounds UK sneaker. And we're going to be comparing them to the other Club C85 sneakers, such as the regular Club C85, the Club C85 Vintage, and the Club C85 Revenge. Now, like I mentioned, these are the Club 85 Grounds UK sneakers, but they do have the regular Grounds sneakers. And visually, they look pretty much the same except for the color differences. The regular Grounds only come in a red and green colorway. And I opted for the Grounds UK sneakers because I thought that red and green pair were super duper ugly. So I had to go with the UKs. Like I said, visually, they do look pretty much the same. They do have different tongue tags. They don't have the side detailing that the UKs have. And then they also have a different rear tab as well. But besides that, they're pretty much the same. Now the Grounds UK sneakers retail for $90. And as of the recording of this video, they do come in four different colorways. I thought this stucco colorway was the best out of the four, in my opinion, especially with that gum colored bottom. Whew. But let's take a closer look. We do have a suede upper on the sneaker as well as some synthetic hits on the side. Just an FYI, all the colorways are suede. I thought that maybe the white one was leather, but no, they're all the colorways are suede, just an FYI. The suede feels really smooth and uniform. It doesn't feel like super rough. It feels pretty smooth and pretty good quality. And then we also got that wonderful terry cloth lining that we love, as well as a non-marking gum colored outsole. At the toe box, we have some large breathability holes and then moving up we got some regular flat laces with a lightly padded synthetic leather tongue with the Reebok logo debossed onto it which is really nice then at the side we have some of those synthetic hits that look really nice as well as the Reebok logo on a window then at the medial side we actually do have some more breathability holes which is really nice at the rear we have another Reebok logo debossed on a tab for the insole we have this gray EVA insole with some more terry cloth on top I'm going to compare these real quick to the other club C85s and then we're going to see how these feel on feet now there are four differences that I found that are unique to the Grounds UK from the other Club C85 family. The first one is that the upper only comes in suede for the Grounds UK. You can get some of these others in suede versions, but these only come in suede. There's no leather version. Maybe in the future they'll have a leather version, but as of the recording of this video, there are no leather versions of the Grounds UK sneaker. Number two is that the outsole only comes in this gum colorway. Like the previous difference, some of these other Club CD5s may have versions that have that gum colored outsole, but the Grounds UK is unique in the fact that it only comes in this gum colored outsole. Number three is the difference in the breathability holes. As you guys can see from the toe boxes, the breathability holes are a lot bigger and there's fewer of them, as well as the breathability holes on the medial side. They're completely unique to this Grounds UK. No other Club CD5 has the breathability holes on the medial side. So completely unique to the Grounds UK. And lastly, the biggest difference is obviously the toe box. The toe box construction is completely different. All the other Club C's have this kind of leather overlay bumper on the toe while the Grounds UK opted for a more toe cap style construction. It also actually makes it the sleekest out of all of them since that toe construction is very low. One more difference I forgot to add is the price differences. The regulars go for $75 to $80 depending on the colorway. The Revenge is for $80 to $85 depending on the colorway as well. And the Vintages go for about $90. And like I mentioned before, the Grounds UK go for $90. So this and the vintages are going to be the most expensive options. And the rest of the shoe is pretty much a combination of the rest of the Club C family. It's got that side overlay that the revenges have. It's got the terry cloth lining that the vintages have. And then it's got the outsole of the regular Club C vibes. Now, what I mean by that is that there actually is no EVA midsole. The vintages are the only ones that have that EVA midsole, which makes these more comfortable than the rest of these, in my opinion. The insole is actually also the same as the regular Club C's and the Revenges. Other minor differences also include the lack of a rear detail that the other Club C's have, as well as the lack of a rear strip 
and the fact that the rear tab is in a different shape as well. So now that you know all the itty bitty differences between all the Club C's, let's go see how these hold up on feet. They'll likely feel like the regular Club C85s or the Revenges, but they do have that sleeker toe, so maybe they'll feel a little sleeker. Let's go find out. On feet, these feel actually roomy compared to the other Club C's. I'm pretty sure the suede is thinner than the leather that the other ones use, which is why I believe they feel roomier. I went true to size and I thought I sized up when I first tried them on because of the roominess compared to the other Club C's. I would recommend going true to size though because I feel like going down a size would just be too tight. True to size is the way to go for me. Comfort wise, they felt very similar to the other Club C's, which is not surprising. I can't really say they felt just like a specific model because the differences are pretty small, but I will say that they did not feel sleeker than the other Club C's. Like I stated before, they felt roomier. It's funny how the sleekest Club C is also the one that feels the roomiest. Overall though, I really enjoyed the Grounds UK on feet. They look good, they feel good, I mean what more can you ask for? Overall, I really did enjoy the sneaker. I actually do think it's a good addition to the Club C family. The color schemes and materials seem to be more focused on a kind of a more fall winter aesthetic, which I really like. And it's also a sleeker option from the other Club 85. So I do like that about them as well. It remains to be seen if these will ever come out in a leather version. I think that would be a pretty cool addition. But let me know, do you guys like the Club C Grounds UK sneakers? Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next one.